Hi everyone! Two key terms are chemiosmosis and photon motor force. Relate both of these terms to the process of oxidative phosphorylation. To be able to relate the two words, we need to be able to understand them. The first word is chemiosmosis. It is the process in which production of ATP takes place through cellular respiration. Most ATP synthesis occurs from this. Here is a little picture of chemiosmosis, that part. The next word is proton motive force. It is the energy generated by the transfer of protons or electrons across an energy transducing membrane used for chemical, osmotic, or mechanical work. Sorry, I spelled protein, proton wrong. It's proton, not protein. The process of oxidated phosphorylation is the process in which ATP is synthesized from ADP and phosphate in the matrix of the mitochondria. Chemiosmosis, along with the electron transport chain, compose oxidated phosphorylation. There is the relationship between the two. So that means one, the electron transport chain, which is all of this plus chemiosmosis, which is just this, equals oxidated phosphorylation. Just gonna put OP. Okay, last slide. Oxidated phosphorylation in relation to proton motive force. And in case you can't remember what my proton motor force means, here's the definition from the first slide. And oxidative phosphorylation is a process in which ATP is synthesized from ADP and phosphate in the matrix of the mitochondria in relation to the proton motive force. Energy generated from chemiosmosis is proton motive force to provide energy oxidative Phosphorylation. So in other words, the energy generated from the chemiosmosis generates the proton motor force. And both of these provide the energy needed for oxidated phosphorylation. ATP synthesis harnesses the proton motor force to phosphorylate ADP to form ATP. So it all kind of meshes together after a while. And I just realized I spelled protein, proton wrong. That's supposed to be proton. So, P so let me cross it out. O T E N. And it's going to be proton. Proton. P R O T E N. R O T O N. Oops. Proton. Okay, well, that's the end of the slide in this presentation. Thank you. Bye.